Hey, today we're talking about 10 games that look too good to be true. Now, that might sound kind of harsh, but we wanted to talk about some recently announced games that might have a bit of mystery around them. You know, some unanswered questions, vague, cool trailers, and just maybe graphics or concepts that look way too cool to actually be real. We're just arm sharing here, you know? These are games that are potentially awesome, but we're just waiting to see more before we let hype get the better of us. We've got 10 games, so let's get started off with number 10. We're gonna start off with a bang, with Phantom Blade Zero. You may have remembered this uh, being announced during a PlayStation showcase about a year ago. Uh, this is like a third person action game set in Chinese medieval fantasy. Now I know that's been a recent trend, but Phantom Blade Zero made waves for its really flashy over the top action and combat. Don't get us twisted, this one does seem like a real genuine game, but we have a lot of questions as to how the gameplay goes down because what they showed, that gameplay looks too good to be true, I'm sorry. When you see the characters parrying and countering like that, it looks like a canned animation, almost like a quick time event. How do you actually do that stuff as the player? Are you just holding a button down? Is this a cutscene? What is it? It's really hard to tell from the trailers and we don't know what the deal is yet, how it actually goes down. Because if you can actually pull off those moves, that level of style, that motion captured animation, the attacks that the main character is doing, that can make for some absolutely awesome combat. This is from developer S Game, based in China. It's a smaller studio, but uh, they have made games before, specifically Rain Blood on Steam. And when you look that up, that's received some pretty positive reviews, but that was many, many years ago. This looks like a big, ambitious product. And we're just really curious to see how this one all goes down with that crazy flashy combat, the incredible graphics. Can they really pull this off? We'd love to see it. And Sony apparently believes in them because they put them in their PlayStation showcase. Sony PlayStation also let that abandoned game, that notorious fake game, uh, get debuted on their YouTube channel. So, you know, some things slipped through the cracks. I mean, there is also an interview with IGN uh, that the developers did a couple months back. This is from IGN International, so I can't tell if it's like translation stuff or just the interviewer asking like really softball questions, but there's a lot of talk and you can't really get a lot of information out of this interview. It almost just seems like they're hyping it up, but we just hope that they can back that talk up and this trailer up, because it could be a cool game. Next over at number nine, we have Lost Fragment. Now this one popped off on YouTube thanks to it being another one of those first person, almost body cam style games uh, where the head movement, the visuals, everything just looks so realistic. The weapons sway, the using the flashlights and the weapons. It doesn't look or feel like any other first person games we've seen. And this is a survival horror game apparently in Unreal Engine 5. It's checking all the boxes, right? Well, we just wanna know more. This is apparently Apparently a Japanese studio, Nihil Inane Studio, if I'm saying that right, and it is a studio that is a total unknown. And this whole thing is mysterious as hell. They posted this six months ago on their YouTube channel, and it's been radio silence ever since. Uh, they did claim it was made with no photogrammetry, so like they didn't scan real world environments. Apparently they actually just built this. We just frankly need to see more. This can be totally real. As of right now, it looks way too good to be true, but as a concept or whatever this is, it does look pretty freaking awesome. Next over at number eight, we have a game called Spine. There's a cinematic trailer that set the mood for this game. Uh, and then a couple of months back, we got a gameplay trailer. Although I don't really know if it's gameplay. So it prominently says at the bottom of the video that it's a mix of in-game gameplay and cutscenes, but everything we see here just looks too good to be true. It's kind of weird. It's hard to put my finger on. Just none of it looks real. It almost kind of reminds me of like those old school CGI rendered gameplay concept videos where you know it's not actually what the game is gonna look like. It's just kind of setting the style, the mood. That's what this is here. There's a couple of shots of the character running and gunning that does look kind of like gameplay, but all of the like gung fu John Wick style stuff just looks like canned finishing animations, but also just like with the visual style, you can't tell if it's really actually in game. That visual style, I will say, if this turns out to be completely real, how it is, I will totally play it. It could be absolutely awesome. But as of right now, we just don't know a lot about it and it's too early to make the call. Spine is being uh, published by Neki and developed by Banzai. It's like a, a group thing based out of, I believe, Cyprus. 
They've been around for many years. They've made a Shadow Fight games, Shadow Fight 1, 2, and 3. They also made a game called Vector uh, that was like an app game. I actually played many years ago and I thought it was really cool. So they do understand animation. They certainly did in that game, but this is completely different from everything that they've made before. And you know, there's not too much out there about the developers. They're shrouded in some mystery. Still, if they can pull off this big open action adventure game, like they're hyping this up to be, it, it could be cool. Next over number seven, we have Project The Perceiver. Uh, this debuted on PlayStation's channel and it's another Chinese open world action game, uh, seemingly inspired by some Souls-like stuff. And it came out of complete nowhere. It's made by a studio that we've never heard of, but to be frank with this one, this one's probably true. It's more believable because there's a lot of actual solid gameplay out there. It looks very much inspired by From Software Works, but it's doing its own thing with Chinese mythology and it's visually pretty gorgeous. And the combat looks like it has some pretty interesting and challenging ideas and how it changes up the flow of how these games typically kind of go down. We don't know when it's coming out. We don't really know too much about it other than that there is gameplay out there and it does look pretty sweet. That's really the long and short of it. Next over at number six, we have Chrono Odyssey. You remember this trailer from months back? This is, this game looks insane. Like it looks absolutely awesome. But again, it has us asking ourselves, is this really what the game is gonna look like? Now, this trailer is 10 months old now, believe it or not, at this point. Wow. This game just looks like it has so much. A ton of cooperative multiplayer, big, massive, almost raid-like bosses, just deep RPG elements, exploration. Everything seems fluid and fun and fast and engaging and the visuals are like out of this world. This is PS5 gameplay that was captured actually on a PC. I don't know, we don't think it's really gonna look that awesome or does it even exist? I don't know, when this was first revealed, we were pretty excited about it. It does seem really cool, but it's insanely ambitious for a studio that we don't know a lot about. It's going for MMO, RPG elements, the crazy visuals. Uh, it's from game developer NPixel, who has been around since 2017. And the published game that they do have is Night Survivors on iOS and Android. It seems like a game that people liked. It's a top-down RPG with fun sprite graphics. It is very different from what they're showing with Chrono Odyssey. Maybe they just wanted to step their game up, literally and figuratively. We hope they crush it because the ideas on display in Chrono Odyssey look sick. Next over at number five, we have a game called Ill. Uh, we've talked about this one a lot in the past, specifically because it checks a lot of boxes for us. It's like a first person action survival horror thing with really weird surreal elements and just cool, unique, gross horror that we haven't seen before, all in really beautiful graphics. And a lot of the gameplay we saw is apparently really early work in progress stuff that did look too good to be true. A lot of it didn't look like gameplay from how like the character handled the weapon, but we keep getting new looks at this. Uh, specifically, the most recent one was uh, during the last future game show last summer. And it's, it's a big breakdown of a bunch of gameplay. So it seems like it's coming along and it is a thing. But graphically, everything we see here, like the visual effects, the environment, the lighting, everything is out of this world. And I've never seen a game that quite looks like this before. This is from a small developer publisher called Team Clout Incorporated. We don't really know anything about them, but Ill does have a Steam page if you wanna look into it yourself. No new info recently, but when it was first revealed in those couple of little glimpses, it did make a splash. So we're hoping for the best. Next over at number four, we have Where Winds Meet. Now, this is another one where it's definitely a real game. Uh, we're just not sure yet whether or not it's actually going to be good because it has a lot of cool ideas. I mean, that first trailer, there was a big gameplay reveal trailer, Gamescom 2022, and it looked a little rough. It had some cool ideas, but some of it just looked too good to be true. Some of it, we weren't sure how the gameplay really went down, but thankfully, just a couple of months ago, we got 18 minutes of high resolution gameplay. This was at Tokyo Game Show 2023, and yes, it's a real game and it does actually seem like it could potentially be pretty awesome. We know, won't know for sure until we actually get our hands on the controller, but this is a big old open world action RPG from a studio called Everstone Studios. We don't really know too much about them, but this is another kind of Chinese open world action adventure game. But in this one, you're creating your own character. Uh, you seem like you can have different builds and you go out and fight bosses and do all that stuff, but just with some really good style and a lot of interesting navigation and content combat variety. Too good to be true? I don't know. The gameplay looks really awesome. It's got a lot of RPG elements that could be boring or could be pretty awesome. So no release date on this one yet, but we're looking forward to seeing what the deal is. 
Now down at number three, we have a game called Wronged Us. We've talked about this in the past. I think we made a whole video about it actually because it was potentially pretty exciting. It's almost like a Silent Hill style horror adventure game, but with some really, really out there visuals. Some good art direction uh, with some just interesting haunting scenes that are just Hard to describe why they're scary, but it's just, it's weird. A teaser dropped two years ago that looked really cool. People were kind of like, is this real? What's the deal with this? And since that really cool creative look, we've gotten two more looks at the game from this very small developer. And it does look like it's a little bit more of a rough project. The gameplay that we've actually gotten to see, you know, some third person shooting and navigating around these city streets. It just seems a little half-baked or not quite there yet. We love a cinematic, you know, story story-driven narrative adventure horror game with some survival horror elements. We're all about that. So we'll give them all the time they need. This is Delusional Studio. It seems like it is their first game. And we're waiting to see what more comes of this because we're hoping it turns into something really awesome and something that lives up to that original trailer. Because that debut almost quite possibly was a little too good to be true. Next down at number two, we have Dune Awakening. Obviously the world has Dune fever right now, but Dune Awakening has been in the works for a while uh, from the people behind Conan Exiles, and they know what they're doing. This is an MMORPG survival game set on Arrakis. Pretty ambitious, pretty exciting. And you know, leading up to more recently, we've gotten a lot of concept trailers and just cool cutscenes showcasing just how cool Dune is, pre-rendered stuff, that doesn't really show what the game is. And that's when we were thinking it was too good to be true. Thankfully, just in recent days, we did get a gameplay trailer that kind of showed us a little bit of what we're doing. And to be frank, like a lot of that gameplay looked almost too awesome, like really good, tactical combat gameplay, interesting crafting, over the top dune technology and adventuring. Even though we've gotten gameplay, like I still gotta see this game running to believe it because even the coolest MMORPG, I don't know, sandbox survival thing just boils down to you punching rocks and it looks crappy. I'm being reductive. Obviously those games usually get better than that, but Dune Awakening, we still wanna see actual uncut lengthy gameplay before we make a judgment call because on paper, a Dune survival MMO type thing does sound too good to be true, but it is almost here. Now, down at number one, we have Squadron 42. This is the spin-off, like big single player narrative adventure from RSI, the people behind Star Citizen, the massive big open space game that was crowdfunded for millions and billions of dollars. Look, I don't think we need to relitigate the whole thing. Like some people are like, oh my God, this game is never gonna come out. They keep taking people's money. Other people are really excited about it and believe in the project, whatever. Squadron 42 had some cool ideas and it went dark for a while. It seemed to almost be forgotten about, but it had has popped up again. Just a couple of months back, we got the announcement that Squadron 42 is feature complete and we got a good lengthy gameplay video breaking it down. This thing was too good to be true just because of how crazy ambitious it was. A big space adventure, out of this world graphics, tons of features. Uh, they had people like Mark Hamill and Gary Oldman starring in the game. There's so much here that literally, like to me, it sounds too good to be true, but it seems like it is really a thing. Some people don't think this is ever gonna come out. I think the fact that they've announced that it's feature complete, I think that's a very good milestone. I think we're gonna see it at some point and we're hoping it lives up to the big ambitions, but we'll see. Those are 10 games that look too good to be true. You know, they seem too good to be true. We cast a lot of judgment here in this one. I didn't want to go totally negative with it. I think ultimately these games could be really exciting. Each and every one of them in their own special way. So we're really looking forward to seeing more from all of them. And some of them will probably do a before you buy a video on or you'll see them in a top 10 and we wish them the best. But that's really it. That's what we wanted to talk about today. So let us know in the comments what you think about these games. But if you have any other games that you think seem too good to be true or look too good to be true, let us know in the comments because there's probably plenty more we can talk about. But as always, thank you guys for watching. Clicking the like button does help us if you like talking games with us every day. That's really it. Have a good one. See you guys next time.